What's going on beautiful people of the internet? I am the AI Whisperer and in this video I'm going to teach you how to generate digital art using advanced AI like this and like this So if you want to generate beautiful art stay tuned because I will teach you how to do this in less than five minutes and all for free Damn! All right, so the first thing you need to do is click the link in the description and that's going to send you to this Google Colab notebook. Now, if you don't know what Google Colab is, it's really just a website that allows you to run these art generators for free. And this is all because of the power of cloud computing. Now, once you click that link, the first thing I want you to do is hover over this first code block here and then press the play button. And what that's going to do is download all the required packages to run this art generator, okay? So while that's downloading, it will take about five minutes. What I'm going to do is just talk about how this art generator works. Now, most of you may know of VQGAN and Clip, which is another art generator that I talked about on this channel. Now, the difference between that one and this one here is that here, we're using a diffusion model to generate the image, whereas in the other one, we're using VQGAN to generate that image. Now, for some backstory, a research group came out a couple months ago and said that GANs are absolute freaking trash and that diffusion models are a lot better at generating fake images. Now, I kind of disagree because VQGAN is a very powerful art generator and it can generate some very unique and beautiful art. Although, if you do compare VQGANs and diffusion models statistically, diffusion models are a lot better at generating fake images. Now, the reason they're a lot better is because diffusion models construct that final image a bit differently. What they do is they do it in layers, and so they generate every single layer in an image, and that is what produces a very cool image, which is very similar to how an actual artist creates their art. Another thing you'll find with this art generator is that all of the same keywords that you use for VQGAN and Clip work for this model here. So that's great news because you can use all the same keywords, although something to keep in mind is that not all the keywords will do the same impact as they do for VQGAN with Diffusion, okay? So um, there's a lot of keywords that don't work uh, vice versa, but there are a lot that work for both art generators, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm gonna let this download for a bit longer and once it's done, we can start playing around with this art generator. All right, so my code block has just finished running and the way you'll notice that it's done running is when that loading bar disappears, okay? And another way of knowing when that uh, code block is done um, is going on the left menu and pressing this folder icon here, okay? So if you press that open, what you should see is four folders and one file for the diffusion model, okay? So just make sure that you have those four folders and that one file and if you do, then we're ready to run and we're ready to go to step number two. So let's go, let's do that, okay? So in step number two, this is where we can pass in the parameters for our art generator, okay? So as you'll notice, we have a text. Um, so the text here is the Cyberpunk Purple Noir Wizard by Greg Rakowski, Art Station HD, okay? So um, I really like this prompt because I personally consider myself a cyberpunk um, and my favorite color is purple. So um, <laughs> I just wanted to show this because I really want you to tweak this to whatever you like, right? So instead of doing purple, you can do yellow, red, pink, any color you want, right? Um, and instead of cyberpunk, you can do anything like fairy or I don't know, um, mecha man or mecha woman. <laughs> so you can really do whatever you want and you can be cr as creative as you want with this, okay? Um, the next parameter that you can pass in is the number of images, okay? So here it's five. Um, so it'll generate five images just by running it once. Um, now, I want this so that you can generate at least 100 images, but right now it's kind of buggy, so I'm going to spend a couple days after this video is released just trying to fix it so you can generate as many images as you want. Um, but for the time being, it is a bit buggy, so keep it at 5. It's the golden number, um, so yeah. So all you need to do now is to run this block so that you can set that text, um, set it in stone, <laughs> and then we can move on to step number 3 where we can run the art generator. And It's just a matter of pressing these play buttons, right? Um, now, I'm also going to run the next one, the plot generated images, so that we plot those uh, generations afterwards. But now we just wait, right? Um, so that's the beauty of it. Uh, you, you, this is a very fast art generator, so um, at least compared to VQGAN, this is going to go really quick. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let this generate and I'll see y'all once it's done. All right, so we just finished generating the art and there's a couple of things you need to keep in mind here, okay? So number one, this took me about five minutes to generate five beautiful art pieces, okay? Another thing is that every single time you run this art generator, it's going to generate something completely unique. 
So all the art that I've gen just generated is, has never been seen before and is completely unique. So that's a great thing about this. And you can, I'm pretty sure you can use this anywhere. Um, so you can use that as your logo, maybe an NFT, all sorts of things. Okay, so very cool technology. Um, and you can see we've generated five beautiful pieces. Now, you may be asking, how do I download my image? Well, if you look on the left-hand side, there's this generations folder. If you press that open, you'll see all the five generations that we just did. So you can double click it um, and you'll see the, the 512 pixel by 500, 512 pixel image um, right there. You can also press the three dots here and download it. Um, but another thing I want you to see is these beautiful prompts code block. Okay, so here I added a bunch of different code block, um, of different prompts that you can try to generate beautiful art. And I highly recommend trying all of them um, and maybe just tweaking them just a little bit, okay? They're all very beautiful prompts. Um, and another thing is if you want to super enhance it to 1760 by 1760, definitely check it out. Um, but that's going to conclude this video. If you want to become a master generative artist, check out the course in the link in the description. In that course, I teach you how to generate all sorts of things like music, language, all sorts of art. Um, so definitely check it out because I constantly keep it updated with the latest trends in AI and I teach you how to become a generative artist master. Okay, so check it out and I'll see y'all in the next video.